Kathy Ireland is a name synonymous with the fashion industry, having graced countless magazine covers and runways during her modeling career. She was a famed supermodel in the 80s and 90s, rising to fame after appearing in 13 consecutive Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues, three of which she was featured on the cover. What sets her apart from many individuals in the field is her unyielding faith in God. Throughout her life and career, she's relied on her faith to guide her decisions and actions. In this video, we'll take a closer look at Kathy's career and her unwavering belief in the power of prayer and faith. Facts First presents Kathy Ireland shocks fans with her confession about Jesus. Kathy Ireland's Spiritual Awakening Kathy Ireland was born March 20, 1963, in Glendale, California. She grew up in Santa Barbara in a tight-knit family with three sisters and one brother. Her parents were devout Christians, and faith played a central role in their family life. When Ireland was 16, she was scouted at her high school by elite model management. By 18, she was a lonely, up-and-coming model living in a drab, run-down French apartment at the end of a hallway that her housemates nicknamed The Dungeon. Ireland had to fight her way tooth and nail to the top of a notoriously cutthroat industry. It was during this time that the future entrepreneur developed a new relationship with God. In 2021, Ireland told Fox News that while she was living in Paris, she was struggling to keep her head up. While modeling in France might sound pretty glamorous to some, it wasn't at all what she expected. She was all alone and didn't have much of a plan to speak of. But she knew it was an important opportunity that could potentially lead her to bigger and better things. While modeling, Ireland could save money for college or perhaps start a business. At the time, she was fresh out of high school and had little in the way of technology or other distractions to hold her back. During one evening in 1981, Ireland was going through her suitcase when she discovered a Bible that her mother had secretly packed for her. While she had grown up in a religious household, she admittedly didn't even know how to read the Bible. Still, she felt strangely drawn to the book, so she decided to open it up and read it. After turning to the book of Matthew, she read throughout the night. She knew at that moment she was holding what she calls the truth in her hands. While there wasn't anyone else in the room telling her she needed to join any particular church, or denomination, she knew right then and there she wanted to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Something about Jesus and the words she was reading in that old Bible seemed to come alive. Ireland told Fox that in her industry, especially back then, it was filled with a lot of really sketchy guys. But after reading the Bible, she felt drawn to how powerful Jesus was. After reading the Gospels, she especially felt comforted by how loving and respectful Jesus was to women. So then and there, she confessed Christ as her Lord and Savior. Ireland says that experience for ever changed her life. As she continued to pursue what would eventually become a very successful modeling career, she felt like she was failing in business. Although she would one day be the brains behind a multi-billion dollar company, she had yet to arrive at that first breakthrough moment. If she had, her modeling career likely would never have taken off. So looking back, she might have felt like things played out precisely as they were supposed to. Studying the Bible wasn't simple. The Bible can be a somewhat intimidating book to anyone who's never read it. It's comprised of 66 smaller books and letters written by dozens of writers over the course of a couple of millennia. Without having an understanding of its ancient context, some of the Bible's passages are hard for a new believer to fully grasp. Still, Kathy remained steadfast and determined to understand its message as her modeling career skyrocketed. After finding success, she could have put her faith on the back burner, but she knew that if she did, she'd be neglecting one of the most powerful things in her life. Ireland found many of the Bible's passages to be uplifting and inspiring, while others seemed perplexing and hard to grasp. At first, she simply picked and chose what she liked while neglecting the rest. She later admitted to trying to mold God into what she wanted him to be, instead of surrendering and letting him mold her into the kind of person she was made to be. It wasn't until Ireland was 44 that she finally read it from cover to cover. Since then, she says the Bible continues to teach and guide her every day. Today, Ireland is 59 years old years old and has three children, a loving husband, and a thriving business. Though she very easily could have prioritized her career above everything else, she's remained committed to putting her faith first. Years ago, she started setting her morning alarm to make time for 10 minutes of prayer. In time, those 10 minutes of prayer and Bible study turned into an hour or more. To her, spirituality and faith isn't merely something she pencils into her schedule. Rather, it reflects a deep and longing need to get to know her Creator. She prays and studies not from a sense of duty, but rather out of joy. She even likes to call it her daily bread and water. Her faith kept her going. 
In 1993, Kathy pursued her lifelong dream of becoming a businesswoman when she founded the Kathy Ireland Worldwide brand. In 2015, it was reported by Forbes that she had grown into one of the most successful women in America while building a $420 million fortune. At the time, her name, style, and marketing was attached to some 17,000 products. To become successful in business, one has to develop a thick coat of armor. As Ireland developed her brand, she learned she has to rely on her faith to keep going when doors were initially being slammed. Looking back, Ireland attests that the gospel was and still is at the core of every decision she makes. Even so, she's quick to point out that her company isn't an explicitly Christian one. She employs team members from all sorts of different backgrounds and beliefs and never tries to force her faith on anyone. That said, she's not ashamed of her beliefs, nor does she do anything intentional that contradicts them. She wants to give back. Kathy Ireland feels like God has blessed her immensely throughout her life. As such, she's always been passionate about giving back to those in need. Her philanthropic work spans across a wide range of causes, from helping children and families in crisis to advocating for animal rights and environmental conservation. One of the most notable organizations she's been involved with is the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation. For World AIDS Day in 2017, she donated $100,000 to the foundation. Kathy has also also used her platform to raise awareness about important social and environmental issues. She's been a vocal advocate for animal rights and has worked with organizations such as the Humane Society of the United States. She's also been an outspoken supporter of environmental conservation efforts and has worked with the Rainforest Foundation and other similar organizations. Kathy also has created her own philanthropic initiatives. In 2005, she founded the Kathy Ireland Worldwide Charities, which supports a variety of causes, including education, health, and safety. Through her philanthropic work, Kathy Ireland has made a significant impact on the lives of countless individuals, and her legacy of giving back continues to inspire others to do the same. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you surprised to find out Kathy Ireland was such a devout Christian? Let us know in the comments section below.